hello everyone welcome to this video where i'm going to explain about the what kind of refund you can get uh, if you work in netherlands immediately after your studies or maybe during your studies so all these things apply to who wants to work in netherlands and they should be uh, the main first and foremost condition for this to be true is that they should be working in netherlands just like me there are many non-europeans who pay thousands of euros as tuition fees i know it's a real burden for all of you uh, because you have like a huge amount of loan just like we had many of us had from India so in that case you might be always wondering like how much time will I take to repay the loans so this will be this video will be really useful because according to an average uh, on an average you will get back approximately 30 to 40 percent of all your educational expenses uh, maybe during your masters if you work during your masters and earn some salary and obviously after masters or bachelors or any kind of studies you do in netherlands if you start working you should work in netherlands obviously because if you earn tax earn salary and pay tax in netherlands then only you will be eligible for this discount uh, that you get back so how it works i will explain you very briefly but don't forget to check this video here i have explained in details of how you will fill individual tax forms and apart from this details uh, i will explain one more thing always try to fill the uh, so the there is two things like there is a tax form just like in every country you have to fill a tax return here if you want to get back that 30 to 40 percent of the educational expenses then you need to fill the tax form which you can find in the tax authority website and all those details are in that video again so the thing is that once you fill the forms you should always start filling the form from the uh, beginning like when you enter the netherlands you should always fill even though you only paid the tuition fees or the education fees uh, by the way this education fees includes everything like your education laptop cost book costs everything most of the stationary things that surround education so you can declare all of these costs provided you have the receipts because in the education it is already stored in the database in netherlands uh, whatever you spend in a university apart from that these other type of cost obviously you need to somehow prove that you have spent it on education maybe laptop or other types of costs so what you can do is uh, for ex when you declare them you should always start with the first month that you enter netherlands and go on filling it so there are two important things in that form although everything is in dutch i have explained that in that video uh, but once you translate in google chrome you should always fill it with google chrome if you have problem with understanding dutch and then you see everything in english and most of the translations are correct because i do that and i am i have already got the refund by filling those forms that's the reason i'm explaining you this because in that video i explained that you get approximately 30 percent of your educational expenses so it's true you get around 30 to 40 percent of educational expenses uh in netherlands uh, if you study here and immediately work here or somehow like you need to work here so how it works is each year you fill your education expense and the pending educational expenses you have before so suppose take my example which will make it very clear in 2015 i filled like uh, uh, in 2015 i had uh, i have explained that in that video again so in 2015 i paid around 13500 euros for tuition fees and 2016 as i started paying on a monthly basis from second year so i paid around 4000 euro and in 2017 when i started working immediately after my masters i paid around 9000 euros so in total you can say uh, when i filled the tax refund you have to start from 2015 only even though you don't earn anything so i filled 
15,000 something for 2015 for which you have to fill the M form which is again explained in that video you check the video it will make it very clear and 2016 uh, I filled the digital form most of the time you fill the digital form unless you come in that year to Netherlands which is explained in that video and in that I have to remember to fill the amount that I spent in 2016 and also add the carryover amount that is the remaining amount that I spent in tuition from 2015. So what it means is I am accumulating these expenses which I have not got refund till I get my salary or till I start earning and paying taxes to the government. Then only I will be eligible for uh, earning some refund addition is that till you satisfy the amount in your gross salary you keep on earning so taking my example again in 2017 when i filled the form so for 15 and 16 i only declared my educational expenses in the respective years and in 2017 i filled like uh, my education expense and i started working from september till december so there was like four months for which i declared my salary and then what happened was, uh, suppose in my case, there was like 27,000 euros, which is accumulated as the, uh, how do you say, like as the educational expense, then the way it is covered is that I pay, I got around 9,500 euro as gross salary. It is a rough amount uh, in 2017. So the remainder amount that I can claim for getting refund from my education is, 27,000 minus 9,500 euro. So you can call it approximately like uh, 17,500 euros, which is left that I can claim in the next year, that is in the year 2018, when I fill the form now. So I did that. So what it actually means is that till the time your salary is compensating everything, so it's not the entire tax. So I got a net salary in 2016, which was approximately 7,000 or 8,000 euros. So I paid around 2,000 euros taxes. And so my gross salary, including everything was 9,500, but my net salary was somewhere around 7,500. So I paid around 2,000 euros as taxes. So what happens is uh, when they deduct this remainder amount, then you have the remaining amount that you can claim in the succeeding years. So in my case, I had like 17,000 remaining that I can claim in 2018 when I fill the form in 2019. And I got that tax amount as refund because the whole gross salary should cover my remainder of the expenses that I have in the education. So I got like around 2000 euro as refund in that year, that is 2017. And in 2018, as I had a remainder of approximately 17,500 euros. So when I filled that, as my gross salary was somewhere around 32 or 31,000 euros in 2018. So it covered everything. You understand, right? So the salary will be always covering and then they subtract the remainder because in 2017, my salary was somewhere around 9,000, the gross salary. So that's why as I worked only four months. So that's why the remainder remained to be claimed in the sub succeeding years. But in 2018, as I, I worked for the whole year, so I had like around 31 to 32,000 euros and I claimed that. I tried to claim that uh, by filling the form and all my remainder were exhausted. So that's how it works. And what happens is in that year, I paid around 7,000 euros as taxes. So they refund me that 7,000 euro uh, in 2018. So in total, on an average, I got like 9,000 euro and then I exhaust all my remainder amount. Uh, all my uh, expenses, educational expenses were already covered in that. So I spent around 27,000 euros and I get back around 9,000 euros. So it's roughly around 33% and it will vary depending on whether you work immediately after studying bachelor's, master's or MBA or you work uh, 
after short time so prices will vary but mostly it will be like it will vary between uh, it will obviously you cannot say aggregate cost because the salary also increases each year tax increases and the educational expenses are also increasing so if you take a percentage which will be a more good representation then you can say roughly between 30 to 40 percent of whatever you have spent in the education all types of educational expenses you will get it back and probably just like me in one year or maybe at max two years everything should be covered whatever is remaining depending on whether you spend a huge amount or less amount so that's the main uh, talk of this that you can get this back so it might help people who have a huge loan to understand how they can get this amount back and it will also help people where like if you want to know how much you spend while studying and how much you can save each month when you are uh, studying in Netherlands and start working how much can you save each month then check this video where I explain the cost of living video where I explain all the things like the cost every type of cost that you spend in Netherlands it will be really really useful if you see that video and you will understand what I mean and if you want to know about the salaries like what you earn in netherlands then please check this video and don't forget it's called working in netherlands and here i have explained in details about what are the different types of salary in phd jobs and other kind. and if you like this video till now please share among your friends so that everyone can know and it will help them to make a decision if they want to come to netherlands because they can get this kind of refund and there are many other types of allowances check this playlist where i have explained all the types of allowances like care allowance, house rent allowance and other types of allowances that you are eligible once you study in Netherlands. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video and if you cannot understand anything in this video then please leave a comment below so I will address them in future videos and I will be very happy to answer all your comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share among your friends, share, share and share because I want that this information should reach everyone so that it helps them to make a decision. It can make a difference in the life of everyone because, you know, like people are always stressed for the, the amount they are spending and the loan and everything. So I hope this video helps to like a stress buster video and I will see you soon. Peace off from... Netherlands